Welcome back to Product Critique, the channel where we provide unbiased reviews of the latest products. Today, we're diving into the new Balance Fuel Cell SuperComp Elite V3. A carbon fiber running shoe that promises speed and performance. Stick around as we explore its features, comfort, and how it compares to other top carbon fiber shoes on the market. The new Balance Fuel Cell SuperComp Elite V3 is a fantastic running shoe with a firm and fast feel. It's a significant improvement over its predecessor, the Fuel Cell RC Elite. And it could arguably be New Balance's best carbon fiber shoe to date. However, it might not offer the same level of propulsion as some other super shoes available. Designed for speed, the Fuel Cell SuperComp Elite V3 boasts a full-length carbon fiber plate, Fuel Cell foam for a propulsive sensation, and a rocker geometry that aids in rolling your foot forward as you run. This Elite V3 model is the updated version of the Fuel Cell RC. Serving as New Balance's long-distance racing shoe within their SuperComp range. The range also includes the SuperComp Trainer, a max cushion training shoe and the SuperComp Pacer, a flatter shoe for shorter distances. To gather all the insights, I've been putting the New Balance Fuel Cell SuperComp Elite V3 to the test over the past few weeks. With approximately 50 miles covered, including long runs, tempo runs, and track sessions, I'm ready to share my thoughts. Let's dive into the details in my New Balance Fuel Cell SuperComp Elite V3 review. The Fuel Cell SuperComp Elite V3 is built for speed, showcasing a booty upper and a two-layer midsole with New Balance's Energy Arc technology, primarily referring to the carbon fiber plate. Its lightweight design is a testament to its racing-focused approach. Now, let's talk about the midsole, where the magic happens. The carbon fiber plate resides between two layers of foam, providing a firm and springy sensation underfoot. While the Fuel Cell RC running shoe felt somewhat spongy and unstable around corners. The Elite V3 offers a more stable and responsive experience. It strikes a good balance between firmness and plushness, delivering the cushioning expected from a racing shoe. Although it lacks an aggressive toe spring, it still feels fast with its 4mm drop. Moving on to the outsole, the Elite V3 is well suited for concrete surfaces. It offers a decent grip, primarily concentrated around the heel and toe areas. With additional protection near the cutout to safeguard the carbon fiber plate. During testing, I wore these shoes on frozen tracks and wet sidewalks without experiencing any slipping issues. However, if I were to nitpick, New Balance still has some fine-tuning to do for me to consider this shoe over competitors like the Nike Vaporfly Next% Percent or the Saucony Endorphin Pro 3 for my next marathon. The Elite V3 features a more relaxed rocker compared to other super shoes on the market. In summary, the New Balance Fuel Cell SuperComp Elite V3 is an excellent running shoe and a significant improvement over its predecessor. With its stability, snap, and bouncy feel, it's a reliable choice for marathon distances. However, keep in mind that the upper's fit may not be everyone's preference. And its rocker design is more relaxed compared to other carbon fiber shoes available. If you're searching for a shoe to achieve top speeds on race day, the Nike Vaporfly Next% Percent 2 and the Saucony Endorphin Pro 3 are two highly regarded carbon fiber options within a similar price range. For a bit more cushioning on your long runs without aiming for the podium. The New Balance SuperComp Trainer is also worth considering. Remember, if you're seeking an everyday running shoe, it's best to choose one without a carbon fiber plate, as durability might be compromised. For a comprehensive guide on the best running shoes on the market, be sure to check out our video. That concludes our review of the New Balance Fuel Cell SuperComp Elite V3. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to Product Critique for more objective product reviews. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.